Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi there. Hi, everybody. Doing well. But welcome to our meeting. And it's the 7th of February, 2023. And the the way that this meeting works is that we talk about what we've done over the past week, what we have planned over the next week, if we have any resources that we need, or if there's any roadblocks, and then open discussion after that. Um, so I will pass it over to Anshul, who can lead us off today. Yes. Uh, so from uh, transponder side, uh, I was just mostly catching up on the Slack. Um, I've missed quite a few things over the past month, so I was just just going through the Slack and where we are. Uh, maybe we'll have a discussion sometime in future, Michelle. Uh, sure, uh, anytime. Yeah, and on Versatune side, uh, things are now quite streamlined. We are progressing. Um, every every Sunday night we have a meeting to discuss about the plan. So right now the current issues are like. Uh, startup time it's quite long so we are working on uh, reducing that also we are trying to set up a common build system on raspberry pi which we all three can access and get a consistent build out of it so those are the work items uh, we are working on so well, it's yeah, really that's good that's yeah. good and important stuff that'll make things a lot easier yes. it's really good to hear that there's regular meetings um, yes Cool. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything that you need or um or, or any particular roadblocks that that uh that folks can help with? Or is it no. just it's just kind of like it sounds like it's just working as it yeah. as intended. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, we have all the hardware uh, art prepared, all the hardware uh with the Raspberry Pi 4 and uh DATV Express board. So everything is there. So yeah, it's going fine. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um Let's see, on this end, um, we're doing a lot of reading about the receiver on the transponder still and, and working through some, some really neat um, content from analog devices. They have a, an excellent PDF that kind of walks you through mm -hmm. uh, the receive side. Uh, so we've been working through that to try to, to double check everything that we understand about receivers. Um, so nothing to demonstrate yet. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, but good progress there on both the multi-rate signal processing um, and also uh, just general receiver discipline. Uh, so what we're hoping to get that on the ZC706 pretty soon. And we'll also be doing a lot of parallel parallel work with the Pluto. Um, in turn, let's see, the uh, doing a lot of work on the uplink um, the uplink protocol um, and and working with the University of Puerto Rico. They're going to use Pluto's on the sounding rocket, and probably um, I, I'm going to guess a, a recommend they're going to recommend RTL SDRs for the ground station, uh, which is l just local to the to the launch. Um, the launch will be in August, uh, so there'll be an opportunity for people to go. That's that's exciting. Um, mm -hmm. So there's things that are moving forward on the the documentation side. There's been uh, some some revisions for the for the encoder, for the DVBS2 encoder. So I've seen that, there's been some progress there. And there's also been some additional um, uh, updates to the reference design from ADI. And there's also been the addition of a couple of different uh, chunks of code that we've used in order to try to get to the point where we're, where everything's working. So I think now is probably a good time to go and, and look at the repository and and update it and and streamline it and make it useful. Uh, what I did is I forked it off to to test the uh, the bus resizer for mm -hmm. for getting in between the encoder and and the transmit downstream. And we think that that works, um, but it's kind of clunky. It's it's you know so it's a fork of a of your repository. So I'd like to get all of that folded back in uh, to to your to your repo and and then figure out like where do these extra pieces go um, mm. and then get it all working. So that's on the list for sure. 
Um, and we have not yet tested the COBS decoder <laughs> yeah. because, because we don't have it encoded correctly on the uplink. Um, it passes all of the, the tests, um, you know, bench tests and, mm -hmm. and, and, um, you know, a unit tests and, and everything, which is very exciting, but it would, it really doesn't work until it works over the air. So that's, that's mm -hmm. still on the list to, yeah. to test. And so that's where we at on, on that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're just, we're just uh, diving in and uh, lots of things, lots of opportunities uh, over the summer and, and autumn for us to, to demo. Mm. Um, so very, very good opportunities to do uh, networking and and presentations. Uh, so mm -hmm. if we just keep at it, I think that we'll get some some really good results. Gotten some very good feedback too. So uh, mm -hmm. ex excellent feedback on on what we're doing. So okay. that's that's it from that's my good. end. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. Yep. Cool. All right. Any anything else or or any other concerns or anything you'd like to talk about? Uh, I think we can take it offline once we are finished with the recording. Okay, let's do that. Yeah.